Pfizer today. The company says its coronavirus vaccine works in kids ages 5 to 11 and plans to ask for emergency authorization very soon. And that's welcome news for a lot of parents now that school has started. Fox 9's Theo Keith joins us from our newsroom. So, Theo, what's the timeline on this? Right, Amy, Kelsey, parents may be able to get their younger kids vaccinated yet this fall. Pfizer says it'll ask for emergency use authorization by the end of September. The FDA has typically taken about a month to review previous applications. Pfizer says its vaccine given to kids 5 to 11 at lower dosage produces the same antibody levels as teens and younger adults saw with a bigger dose. And since we know that 16 to 25 year olds are protected and antibody is a good measure of that protection, Having matched that antibody response, we're likely to match the protection. In Minnesota, nearly 60,000 kids 12 and younger have been infected with the virus, about one-sixth of them during the Delta wave since the 4th of July. For the most part, children recover from COVID infections. Only three Minnesota kids have died from the virus, yet many parents are worried about viral spread now that school has restarted. And so I see this as urgent for many reasons, the, the social reasons as well as the immediate impact in reducing uh, hospitalizations and illness. Pfizer's vaccine is authorized for children 12 and older, but only half of older kids in Minnesota are fully vaccinated. If Pfizer's vaccine wins approval for younger kids, it's likely the state will struggle with the same vaccination disparities as it's seen with adults. For example, in Minneapolis, zip codes in southwest, northeast and downtown have vaccination rates approaching 85 or 90 percent. But city officials said Monday that in near north and Cedar Riverside, vaccination rates are 55 percent or less. So hopefully within the next four to six weeks, we'll have some additional staff people on that will be targeting the East African Somali community, the African American community, and the Latino community to start with. By at least one measure, Minnesota's current COVID wave is worse than the one this spring. 757 people of all ages are hospitalized now. That's the most since January 7th. Kelsey? All right, thanks, Theo.